On day two, my tour guide took me to Patan Durbar Square, Swambu Mahachadia, and Pashapatanath. Patan Durbar Square is about 20 minutes' drive southeast of Kathmandu. Here you will get to see palace buildings, courtyards, and Hindu and Buddhist pagoda temples. It once had 136 courtyards and 55 major temples. Some of the amazing monument and temple are the Golden Temple with its fine wood carvings, the 14th century Mahabuddha monument, Rudravarna Mahavihar Monastery, the red bricks Jagat Narayan Temple with the metal statue of Garuda on the banks of the Bagmati River, and the five story pagoda built in 1392. During the 2015 earthquake, the Hari Shankar Temple was completely collapsed and since then has been rebuilt. The Krishna Mandir Temple which was built in 1667 with 21 golden pinnacles is located at the square. This is Mal Chauk which means main courtyard, was built in 1666. The entry to the Talaju Shrine is decorated with the golden doorway with two life-size sculptures of Ganga and Yamuna. The gilt copper shrine is the goddess Yantaju located at the center of Mulchauk, a companion to the nearby Talaju shrines. There are some European influence to the courtyard with regular windows and shutters. It has been renovated in 1730s, 1950s and undergone restoration in 2011. The Patton Museum is located on the first floor. It houses a lot of architectural drawings and historic paintings. This is the smaller courtyard, Sindari Chauk. The Patton Royal Palace was placed on the UNESCO World Heritage in the Danger List. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, so that I can continue making more video contents like this. Swambu Mahachadia Complex is 15 minutes drive west from Kathmandu depending on where your hotel is. Some would call it Monkey Temple where monkeys roam the stupa grounds. The stupa, located on top of the Mahachidya Hill is known to be the oldest of its kind in Nepal. You would also be able to get a panoramic view of Kathmandu. All the sites that was mentioned in this video has an entrance fees. Swayambu is an important Buddhist pilgrimage destination since the 5th century. Pilgrims ascend the 365 steps that lead up the hill. It is also among the oldest religious sites in Nepal. The stupa is believed to date back to 460 AD. The complex also has a Tibetan monastery, museum, and library. Pashupatanath Temple is a 15 minutes drive east from Kathmandu. It is situated on the banks of the 600 kilometers Holy Bagmani River. Hindu devotees from all over the world who traditionally purify themselves in the Holy Bagmati waters. The temple existence is believed to be dated back in the 5th century. You need to be aware that the temple is only for Hindus. You are only allowed to view from the terrace across the river. Photography is strictly prohibited. Pashupatanath Temple is the oldest Hindu temple in Kathmandu. During my visit, I was able to observe an open-air cremation ceremonies held on the river's banks. No punt intended but after seeing the cremation and was told by my tour guide that the river is the dirtiest and polluted, I avoided as much, during the remaining stay, not to even take a shower. I use bottled water to brush my teeth and wash my face. The whitewashed dome of Buddha or Buddhanath Stupa is a 10 minutes ride east of Kathmandu. It is, in its own way, most notably and prominent site of Kathmandu. It was built in the 5th century, and is one of the most ancient, and largest stupas, as well as the largest spherical stupas in the world. There are six Nuwari-style stupas on the lowest level of the stupa. In between the spires and canopy is the lotus. An interesting fact is, the pinnacle at the very top of the stupa is the symbol of Mount Samaru. The 2015 earthquake severely cracked the spire Buddhanath stupa. It has since undergone reconstruction of the stupa at the top of the dome. The influx of Tibetan refugees since 1950s has seen the construction of many Tibetan monasteries, prayer halls, and shrines around Buddha. 
There are also many restaurants selling Tibetan food.